I am naturally a night owl. And I was like that for the majority of my life. I would go to sleep around 2 to 3 a.m. sometimes. It was very rare that I got to sleep before 12 a.m. and woke up past 10, 11 a.m., which is pretty late for most people. I know there are people out there that sleep longer than 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. But it, if you clicked on this video, you probably are wondering, how do I wake up at 5 a.m., maybe 6 a.m., 7 a.m.? You know, 7 a.m. is still pretty early. I think once you start getting around like past 8 a.m., you're starting to get into like the late category, but it's a struggle. It's for real a struggle to wake up at 8, 5 a.m., 6 a.m., especially if you're like naturally a night owl. But as I believe, I think you can completely rewire your brain, change it to become a morning person as with basically anything else. I know from firsthand experience that you can become an early bird, even if you're naturally a night owl. So first of all, the most important thing is to actually commit. If your heart isn't fully in it, if your mind isn't fully into committing to wake up early so you can get work done, so you can stop looking like a lazy ass, once you're fully committed, you're solid. That's the most important part. Second most important part, going to sleep early. Because you don't want to lose sleep, okay? Sleep is super important for muscle recovery, for the recovery of your mind, just recovery in general, for healing, everything. Bro. You don't want to lose sleep, okay? So this is going to sound hard. Some of you are probably going to click off the video after I tell you to go to sleep like an old man. Go to sleep early. You're probably going to click off a lot of you are probably going to click off the video because you're like oh no we gotta go to sleep early you can't party anymore if you genuinely want to wake up early you got to put some things aside you got to sacrifice some things you got to sacrifice the staying up late watching tiktok videos scrolling for like two hours and then eventually it's like 1 a.m and you got to get up for school the next morning you wake up 30 minutes before you're supposed to be at school so you got to rush you're foggy headed it sucks so you got to get to sleep early that's just a fact. If you want to wake up at 5 a.m., you should probably be going to sleep around 9, 10 p.m., somewhere around that time. Sometimes 11. You can still get pretty decent sleep at with like six hours, depending on who you are. If you want to find out like how much sleep you need in order to work your best because some people need nine hours, some people need seven hours. So find out what amount of sleep is the most efficient for you, what gives you the most efficient use. If you only need six, seven hours of sleep, you're pretty lucky. You can go to sleep a little bit later and you can still wake up a little bit earlier feeling good. But unfortunately, if you have, you know, more like eight to nine hours, yeah, you're gonna have to go to sleep pretty early. Me personally, I always try to fall asleep between nine and 10 p.m. in order to wake up at five or six. And that's usually the time that I go for now is anywhere between five and six a.m. I'll change it depending on how early I'm able to get to sleep because of like work and other factors. But getting to sleep early is one of the most important parts. Lastly, what I want to talk about is how do you get up? Because sometimes people just suck at waking up early. No matter how much they sleep, they cannot wake up until the sun is fully shining. So how do you wake up when it's dark? Well, I have actually invested some money into getting LED light bulbs that you can change the color on your phone. And also you can schedule it to turn on at a certain time. So this has actually really helped me because I am able to set a certain time when I can make the lights turn on. So like I usually time at the same time as my alarm clock at like 5 a.m. And then my bright ass light comes on and I wake up. But if you guys don't want to like spend any money, you want to start doing it now. I think that the light bulb really helps. But if you don't, obviously you should have an alarm clock. That's the only way you can really wake up like at any time you want, but I think that's very obvious. But when the second your alarm clock goes off, this is gonna take a little bit of training. Listen, if you fail in like the first week to like wake up on time or, as long as you're making some progress to waking up earlier, you're fine. Or you should be fine. But don't give up because you're like, oh no, I can't do it because I missed my 5 a.m. wake up time. Do better, just keep on trying. That's, the, that's how you get better. You just keep on trying when you fail. That's how you actually get results. You're gonna, half these things that I'm telling you in most of these videos, you're gonna fail at like a ton of times. I did. You just have to stick with it and not even for very long. Most of these things you only have to stick with for like a few days or a week or maybe even a month. But that's not very long. You just have to keep doing it even if you keep failing. Eventually, you'll get it, I promise. But the second your alarm goes off, 
open your eyes, sit up. Don't like don't like jerk awake or something or like start doing like like running and stuff. You know, that's not that's honestly not that good of a way to start your day with your heart racing. I don't think it is. I don't think that's very healthy. I think that the second your alarm clock goes out, you open your eyes, like actually open your eyes. Don't like half close your eyes, like uh, reaching to hit the snooze button. Like actually like just open your eyes fully, sit up and try and get out of the bed as fast as possible. Because usually once you can get out the bed, you're usually like completely fine. You're usually set. Once you stand up most of the time, if you can like walk around a little bit, you're usually fine. So get up, sit up and put your legs over the bed. So you, and like get, standing up as fast as possible this doesn't mean to shoot out of bed and then get up as fast like super incredibly and then just move just calmly get out take a deep breath get the energy through you and that's honestly how you do it there's no big secret here there's not like there's really no big secret you just have to like fully commit to it you just have to tell your brain you just have to, to fight against your brain you have to go to war with yourself and tell yourself to just get up not listen to what your brain is saying and use what I'm telling you in these videos and you will be able to wake up early eventually, even if it's not tomorrow, even if it's not today, you'll get there. Also, here's a little bonus tip. Having a purpose, having a reason to be waking up early, something to work tor towards, something to be excited about, working towards, that helps a hell of a lot. It really does. So hopefully what I've told you today can help you start getting awake earlier because trust me, I, if I can do it, I am an absolute night owl or naturally, but I've changed myself to morning person. But if I can do it, you most certainly can. I promise you. Let's get started. Let's put in that hard work. Thank you guys for listening to today's video. And remember, only you can define your own success. I'll see you on the next one.